hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today we are going to be showing you how to speed up and save battery life on your Galaxy Note 8. Now, these are going to be a couple of steps, but they will overall save you battery life and make your phone much faster moving than it currently is overall. So let's get right to it. So first and foremost, we're going to go into settings and then about phone. I'm gonna move it up slightly so my phone number doesn't show. And then from here, you're going to go to software information. And from here, you're gonna hit the build number repeatedly. So that's what we're gonna do now. And then we're going to hit back. And then we are going to swipe up and go to developer options. So in developer options, you're going to swipe under and go all the way to the drawing category. Now in the drawing category, what you're going to do is you're gonna see these three things that say animation scale, and you're going to tap each of them and put them to 0.5X. What this does is it speeds up the overall transition and movement of your phone so that you'll notice when you go and do things now, they're gonna be much faster than they were before. And that's just a really great simple way of speeding it up a little bit. Now, the second thing we're going to do is make sure uh, we don't have Bluetooth running in the background even when you turn it off. How we're gonna do that is going into connections and then location. And under connections, you're gonna to go to location and then improve accuracy and then turn a Bluetooth scanning off. What this does is it actually makes your Bluetooth on even when you turn it off. So yeah, save yourself battery life. Then we're going to go into the advanced features portion. Now look, there are a lot of advanced features. I do recommend you going through each and every one of them to see which one suits you. But I will tell you the ones that I don't think really anyone will use and the ones that you will find useful. So let's go through them one by one. Uh, S Pen comes out of the box uh, fine, so you don't have to change any of those. Again, look into it yourself if you want. Smart Stay, I would turn off. One-handed operation, I would turn on and put it on gesture. This allows you to have it one-handed operable, and I'll have another video specifically on that. Finger sensor gestures turned on, quick launch camera turned on, smart capture turned on, palm swipe, off, direct call, off, smart alert, off, easy mute, off. I would leave swipe to call on, uh, dual messenger, go into it if you want, that's going to be uh, having two apps but different sign-ins, uh, or sorry, the same app with two different sign-ins. Direct share, leave that on, and same with video enhancer. So those are the, my recommendations for that section. And then you're also going to want to go to device manager, battery, and battery usage, no, uh, sorry. All the way down here at the bottom, you are going to see which apps are unmonitored. What this means is these apps are able to run freely and they will never go to sleep. So they will always be running in the background. Now, some of these obviously make sense, right? If you want to use something like um, Instant Messenger or uh, Facebook Messenger or something like that, well, then you always want that running in the background. So if you get a message, you immediately get it. However, if you don't, then you want to take some of these off or you can add ones that you always want to be running. But this is just something you should know about. These are apps that will never go to sleep, so keep that in mind. And then there's always sleeping apps. You could have an app that you always want to go sleep. Uh, basically, you don't want them to run in the background ever. So that would be another great place to put apps that you know you rarely use. Maybe you're buying a home and you don't need it to run in the background like a Trulia or a Realtor or any of those apps, then you can not have it run in the background. So that would be a good example of it. Um, overall, that's going to be the biggest parts except for removing bloatware. So in your app drawer, you might find apps that you didn't download that are on their phone by default. Now, I do not have a carrier version of a phone, but that is the first thing I would get rid of. Get rid of all the carrier bloatware. Verizon, AT&T, T-Mobile, put a bunch of garbage on your phone and you don't want to use any of it, so remove that stuff. Uh, how you remove it is by holding it down. Pen up, I don't use, so I'm gonna get rid of that. 
So hold it down and then hit either uninstall or disable. Either way, it stops it from running in the background so that it will not slow down your phone. By the way, one of the biggest apps to do this with is Lookout. It's a horrible app, don't use it, uninstall it or disable it right away. So for instance, I will uninstall Penup and now it's gone. So without these many apps running in the background and taking up your RAM, your storage, your battery life, your phone will run faster and it'll also of course save in battery. All right guys, so these are gonna be a few of the tips uh, to always have. Now, some other things you might wanna know about is you want to restart your phone at least once a week. This is going to save your overall battery life. And two, if you want the best battery life, you do wanna invest in a wireless charger as your battery life will maintain for much longer if you charge wirelessly overnight. Finally, make sure you use this device maintenance app that Samsung has built in. They have a widget, but they also have the app built into your settings. So use it, optimize your phone. If you want, if you don't really care for Bigsby, but you wanna find some use in it, that's a good thing to do is just hold down Bigsby and say, hey Bigsby, optimize now and it will optimize your device. Uh, have a 10 best features on Bigsby if you want to see that video for more details like that. All right guys, hopefully you did like this video. If you did, please give a like thumbs up down below. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.